Hello guys, this will be a quick demo of a module called Multi-Tenancy in Quick Admin Panel. It allows you to restrict the records only for those who created the records. So for example, in the menus we have tasks and every user should see only their own tasks that they've created themselves. So let's try it out. We installed that module and in fact there are two modules in one. There's user multi-tenancy, so restricting by user, or there's team multi-tenancy. So you can create teams and every record should belong only to the team. So all the users of that team see the records. So let's start with user multi-tenancy. We install that and then we need to enable that multi-tenancy on all the CRUDs that you want. By default, it's not enabled anywhere. You go to the CRUD, you click show more options and then there's a checkbox, use multi-tenancy on those tasks. So we update the CRUD and now I will preview the panel and I will show how it works. And then we will see how it looks in the code. So if we click preview panel, the project is deployed on our servers. Okay, it is deployed. We continue, we log in with admin. So admin, admin, com and password. And let's create two users. So user one and user two, add user, user one with email user one, user com for example and role is user, like this. And then another one, user2, user com. So user2, user2. Like this, and now let's log in with that user1 and create a task. So, like this, and I create a task. Task is just one field of name. So task1, for example, we save or task two, for example, we save and I should see only my tasks. So let's log out and let's log in with user two. And in the tasks, you should not see any task because they don't belong to you. And if you create task three, for example, you see that task three and it's not restricted only in the table. So if you edit that task and if you guess the ID of other task, you will get 404 not found. So it's restricted on the back end. An administrator sees all the records by all the users. So if we log in back as administrator, we see all the tasks. Now, how it works in the code. If we go to our quick admin panel and click view code, you should see app, traits, multi-tenant model trait. And this is where all the logic lies for any CRUD that uses multi-tenancy. So whenever new record is being created, if it's not admin, then the field created by ID is filled by auth ID. So we create a special hidden field, which is not anywhere in the forms created by ID, which is filled automatically. And then whenever there's eloquent query to get the records or get single record, we add where created by ID is auth ID. So it's that user's record or it's administrator's record, because if it's administrator, then created by ID is set to null, which means system record, which is available for everyone. And then that trait is added in any model that you enabled, like task, here multi-tenant model trait. Now let's try team multi-tenancy. If we install the module and choose the team, also by default, it enables registration module. So whenever new user is registered, the team is created under the hood for that user and then they can invite other users to their team. Let's take a look. Again, we enable that for the tasks. So show more options, use multi-tenancy. And then there's a new menu item called teams for administrator. So if we preview the panel and log in as administrator, we can create the team or a more typical use case of that is registration. So it's similar to I've been using that on tools like Bugsnack or GitHub. I just have a user and that user is a team where I can invite other members. Let's take a look. So in our preview, there's register now. And if I register as a new user, then I can see a menu item called team members. And then I can email and invite that member. And those invitations would be sent by email and that member should confirm their user by setting up the password and then they would be able to access all the records created by any member of that team in the code in view code in the trade it's the same trade multi-tenant model trade just expanded to the team so team id is set automatically to all the records so there's no created by id instead of that there's team id and also it's filtered by team id whenever you get the records and of course real life scenarios may be more complicated 
So most of that can be customizable via that trait. So you can change that logic in here or override that trait method in your models. Like for example, you may want to still have created by ID and team ID and filter something in a different manner. So we leave that to your implementation, but the basics of multi-tenancy is in this trait, whether you use team multi-tenancy or user multi-tenancy.